Hi guys. First of all, I just want to apologize. I, ha I haven't put a video up in quite a bit. The reason why it's cold out here in Toronto, we've been having snowstorms here like crazy on and off. And it's too so cold outside to do anything. I have a lot of projects in mind. I just can't do it anything until it clears up supposedly Monday it's going to start clearing up and start being nice so maybe then I can start getting some projects done um, I do have a shed I'm going to show you what my shed looks like right now I had to bring stuff in inside here because um, I didn't want it to ruin outside in the in the snow I'll turn the camera around and just show you a bit this is my desk as you can see the mess on this desk here it's my 3d printer I do a little bit of work on that on that and really I can't I really can't do much inside this there's no room at all anyway I, I have been doing little things like 3d printing and uh, I made a little box, jewelry box of some sort with a hidden key compartment which I'm going to show you guys now, so let's get to that. I will be cutting these ends off after. It's going to be just a square box. It's going to be the lid, the top for this box. So this lock here is going to go on the inside and this is going to this lock is going to be able to open this top here but it's going to be a hidden lock I'm going to hide it I'm going to put a, these strips all the way along and then you have to figure out or it's anybody has to figure out how to get to that lock 
to be able to open the box with the key. Cool? This box is going to go, this is going to be the top here. And obviously I still need to cut these off. And then this is going to be a top. You guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm just putting these strips down. I'm going to put them all around, down all around the box. And then over here, I'm going to make something. I'll let you guys know when I get to hear what I'm doing. Cool? Cool. I went ahead and glued some of those uh, craft sticks along the sides here 
and what I'll do is also just to make it look like the rest of the box I'll glue some on the top going this way all the way along the top so I'm going to do that um, if you guys are wondering how it comes out like this I hope you guys can see it there's little grooves in here and these are flat all I do is grab a piece of sandpaper and I sand it on an angle to give it that sort of v-shaped look I went ahead and did put the strips on the top, the, the lid here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it started to warp a little bit because it's very thin. See, it's a little warped. So what I'm going to end up doing is I cut these quarter inch strips I'm gonna glue them over here just to keep it straight and then it'll just have a lip on the lid actually I think it'll come out better like that anyway okay so I went ahead and put the lip on here Yeah, that looks a lot straighter. Now what I need to do is cut some strips and lay them down here to match. To match the top and this lid over here. This is something that takes a little bit of time, so I'm not going to do it on camera. Maybe I'll put a couple of them on just to show you. But basically it's cutting these and just laying them down like this just to match the rest. So I'll have to cut a piece. Hopefully this doesn't this doesn't split on me. Yeah, they're gonna start splitting. So I'm gonna have to end up cutting these with a knife. But anyway, this one's no good, but I'm just showing you exactly what I'm gonna do. And then just lay it here like that. Okay, so I got my three pieces here. I went ahead and did all the trim around. Let me just put this down here. So, what I want to do here is... To make it harder to find it, I'm going to put a little trim along the bottom all the way around. And glue it to this part here and along this part here, but not obviously not glue it to here so this can slide. This is nice and tight so it'll... Nobody's going to come here and think that this is actually slidable. Here is going to be a little bit tricky because I'm going to have to make cut this here and here because this has got to be able to open outwards.
So I decided to go with hinges down here too. So this will open this way. This one will open this way. I'm going to end up putting a liner in here. But what I want to do is I want to take the hinges off and take it outside and give it a nice sanding so I can stain it. You guys might not think there's enough content on my channel for you to subscribe. But uh, I just started the channel. So even if you don't want to subscribe at the moment uh, and you do like the video, hit the like button. At least hitting the like button will uh, help me a little bit. I got a lot of ideas and that. So even if you don't subscribe, just check it every once in a while to see what I put up. So there's your piggy bank for your coins. We all know there's the hidden key lock over here. You place anything you want in here, bills or whatever, which will lock. And then Obviously, you have this cover here. To hide it. And then you have this secret compartment over here. Which hides the key. Anyway, that's your uh, secret compartment box. And I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.